In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a simple AI chatbot, one that answers questions about your business and capture leads 24 7. Now, who's this video for? Well, this video is for a business owner who's tired of answering the same questions on WhatsApp, but also worried about losing sales because they can't respond to new leads right away. So, if that sounds like you, then you're in the right place. We're going to solve this problem by creating a chatbot that lives right inside of your WhatsApp and can be able to solve those problems that we just mentioned. In fact, this diagram is the exact blueprint for the system we're gonna to build today. You can see that it started with the customers and once the customer reached out to the business on WhatsApp, you can see that the message instantly goes to the smart AI chatbot. The AI chatbot also has the functionality to crawl and be able to learn from your own websites and be able to answer specific questions about your services and act as your perfect customer support agents. It also gets even better because this AI chatbot can also take powerful actions for your business. Imagine it can also be able to automatically sending a follow-up email to a potential lead or even letting a customer talk a meeting directly on your calendar without back and forth actions. And behind the scenes, every interaction is tracked for your lead generations. And it does that by saving every new person as a lead in your contact list. And you get a dashboard to track all the conversation and the analytics so that you can see exactly how your business is growing. So if you're ready to save time, capture more leads, and put your customer service on autopilot, Stick around and I'm going to walk you through the entire setup step by step. All right, so to get started, first we're going to navigate to the main dashboard and we're going to click on register. So once we register the account, it will take us to the main dashboard for chat lane. So now we can create our own chatbot and we click on the create chatbots here. And then once we create our chatbots, you can see that we have two options. One is we can create a website chatbot. The other one is a WhatsApp chatbot. So I'm just gonna use WhatsApp chatbot for demonstration. And here to create our chatbot, here you can see we have a template for creating a basic AI chatbot, which is using like website content or documents to feed for the chatbot for knowledge base. So here I'm just gonna name the chatbot here called Alex. And once we create our chatbots, you can see that we can connect our WhatsApp to the chatbot here. So once it's connected or integrated, you can see that we have our chatbot here. So we're gonna click it and you can see that we have navigated to the chatbot dashboard. We can track all the conversations that happened in the past. Then here, if we can click on the builder to build our chatbots. All right, so back to the builder, let's take a look at how the actual workflow really works, right? So for the chatbot, basically it starts here. And you can see here that whenever a user sends a message, we first save the user as a contact into our contact list. So we create a contact, we save their phone number and their first name so that we can be able to capture this lead first before the conversation begins. And we can take a look at where we store the contacts here inside of our dashboard contacts you can see that we have the first name and the phone number stored inside of our contact list so back to the builder you can see that once we collect these informations then you can see that we have our agreed user which we have a text message being sent from the AI chatbot to the customer through whatsapp which says hi how can i help you today right and then now if i were to follow the arrow after we greet the user you can see that it goes to this part so basically what this part does is trying to get the user asked questions about the business and be able to have the ai to be able to generate the response or be able to take any actions on top of that if you were to click on the capture text you can see that here is basically a variable called user question so based on the user question we will basically send this to the large language model to generate the response right so here you can see after the large language model sense response it's going to point back to this current node it's going to cycle through basically if the user asks another question it's going to follow the same process to basically pass the user question to the large language model to generate response so let's test this chatbot by clicking on preview and here we can be able to enter our phone number and it's going to create our chats so all we have to do is just navigate to whatsapp message this number and we can start have a conversation with the chatbot. So what we can do here is you can see that I have created chats, send a message saying hello to the chatbot, and you can see the chatbot send a message back with saying that how can I help you today or how can I assist you today along with my name. And I can be able to start a conversation with this chatbot by asking any questions. So here I'm just gonna say what's two plus two and you can see that it respond with equals form, okay? So you can see that the chatbot works, right, with AI. And now what we can do is we can be able to add knowledge base so that we can be able to add a customer support functionality to this chatbot. So what I can do is I can be able to click on the AI configurations and here there's a knowledge base. I'm just gonna click on this and go to knowledge base. So here inside of knowledge base, all we had to do is just adding a data source and here there's different options. So we can be able to add website content or URL list, documents, 
frequent ask questions, all kinds of things. So for testing, I'm just gonna take this business for example, and I'm gonna take this business and let AI to crawl the websites to find the knowledge to add it to the knowledge base. So I'm just gonna uh, paste this website URL and it's going to crawl the websites and you can see that it found those 16 sub pages based on this domains. So what I can do is I can be able to submit and it's going to crawl each of those sub pages and it's able to extract those content and be able to add it to the knowledge base. But here at the bottom for the advanced settings, you can see that we can be able to exclude things that we can crawl. So we can be able to exclude the nav bars, the headers, the footers, right? So here in that case, I'm just gonna exclude all those things and I'm just gonna let it to crawl and extract the main content from those pages. So here you can see the data source added successfully. And what I can do is I can click on the knowledge base. So here you can see right away, uh, 16 data sources are currently pending which means that they're currently crawling those pages to extract those contents so in that case let's wait for a bit and wait till it processed all right so now you can see that i refreshed and 16 pages are fully processed so now if we were to come back to the builder and here you can see for the large language model if we were to click into this for the response source we're selected as knowledge base so it's going to use the knowledge base as the response source to look for information to respond to the customer okay and for the question you can see that it's using the capture text variable which is the user question to basically use that as the question to respond and then here you can see there's additional settings that we can do for example we can save the response in a variable or we can also generate a no found path which means that whenever ai cannot find a response to this then they can be able to do some certain actions for example if i were to toggle this on we can be able to generate a new path for example we can be able to add trigger for example like http request or sending an email or maybe adding a ticket and be able to have a real person follow up on those tickets and there's so many things that we can do now here we can also be able to do additional ai settings like changing the models we can be able to change to a different models and here you can see each models has different credit limits and there's also different languages we can be able to change for example english chinese or we can also be able to auto adjust based on whatever language that they're using so you can see that there's a lot of things that we can customize with this chatbot so once our knowledge base is uploaded now what we can do is we can be able to test our chatbot in our whatsapp and be able to see the information coming through all right so back to whatsapp now we can start to test and i'm just gonna say hello and here you can see it res respond back with how can i assist you today so here i'm just going to start with a question about the business and so start with what does your business do so right away you can see that it basically provides information about the business so here you can see it says a full service pool and spot company based in this location and here are the things that they specialize for pool renovations and it's valid based on the page what it offers so now let's say if i were to ask additional questions so for example i'm just going to ask what services do you offer for pool liners and you can see that right away it basically tells us exactly what are the services that they offer for pool liners and you can see that it says measurements repairs replacements along with their call to actions for the contact infos Awesome. So now let's take a look at the dashboard to see what are some metrics that we can use to track the conversations, the performance of our chatbot. Obviously, I did not have too much data here that we can show, but at least uh, based on this dashboard, you can see that we track the new conversations, so number of new conversation initiated by the users, right? We can be able to see the data here. Uh, there's also new contacts and leads that are being added onto our contact list. And then there's also like when do users chat the most, what time of the day and what weekdays usually be online. And then we can be able to see this data. We can also be able to look at the conversations on the past conversation that happens. So you can see that these are the past conversation that happens and we can actually be able to read through this. We can be able to export this, delete this, mark it as closed or mark it as important. And we can also be able to click on fine tune the answer to be able to fine tune this instead of just answering this response or maybe maybe we can respond it in a different way right so you can see that there's a lot of control that we can do for controlling the ai chatbots to helping your business to answer your questions the way you want it right so pretty much you can see that's how we can be able to create our simple chatbots capture leads 24 7 answer questions on our behalf now if you do found this video helpful please make sure to like this video and if you do want to give this product a try please use the link in the description below other than this i will see you in the next video